Yeah, sorry if I kept you up. It's okay, I don't need much sleep. Did you get any? Yeah, enough. I, yeah. I, uh, I gotta start this day off. I, I'm gonna go check on Christina. What are you doing here? I actually wanted to talk to you. You're the only current those connected person I know who's willing to give me How the How dare you show your disgusting face around here? Do you have a death wish, Ethan? Well, obviously I should have called you know, th first. That is the wrong lesson, jackass. You shouldn't be here at all. What are you doing here anyway? What, are you looking for a little bit of sympathy? No, no, a little mal bonding time? <laughs> uh, 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 how to control a woman no, or keep look, her in line? Not... He is nothing like you. And I am nothing like Christina. I will take you on any time. All right, look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm not trying to work an angle here. I just wanted to talk to Jason face to face and let him judge me for himself. It's frustrating telling the oh, truth and no one believes Ethan, you. Oh, Ethan, you're frustrated. Nobody believes you. Have you seen my little sister's face lately? Yeah, I didn't do that, okay? I tried to help. I did help her. I took her to the hospital. Oh, that would be pretty considerate of you if it, if it weren't for the fact that you're the one that put her there. But wait a minute, let me get this straight. She's lying, right? It was it was all her fault. No, I never said that. Listen, I you never piece will. of scum. Nobody wants you here. You're going to pay for what you did to my little sister. Now get the hell out of here. Jason, can you please swear to me that you will not and do not believe a word out of that lying, woman-beating pig? It hurts to smile, so I'd rather not. Okay. Just don't matter at me. I get it. What do you expect, Kiefer, after you beat me up and put me in the hospital? <sighs> okay, yes, I put you in the hospital. Okay, but I've said I'm sorry and I'll get you through this. What else do you want me to do? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Look, it's just, it's hard seeing you like this, knowing it's my fault. Okay, I still can't believe what I did. Okay, you know that's not me. Okay, I just got really upset when you stood me up in line. get through this because I love you and I still think you're the most go gorgeous girl in the world. Honey? Oh. I heard you. That was very supportive. We appreciate that. Sweetie, are you okay? Look, I, I want to do everything I can to get Christina through this. Uh, I appreciate that, Keeper, but she's upset, and this is uh, hard for her right now, so how about we have some visits later, okay? Okay. Yeah. Is it okay if I come by and see you tomorrow? Sure. Okay, call me if you need anything. Okay, you too, Miss Davis. Thank you, Keeper. for you. I want to do what you need, but I can't promise not to believe somebody if I think they're telling the truth. Well, wait, wait a minute. So what are you saying to me that you believe Ethan? Which, by extension, means that you think Christina's lying. No, not Sam. Not necessarily. Christina may be just confused. You know, people are when they have a serious physical trauma. Like Anyone that. disgusting enough to beat up on a little girl is disgusting enough to lie about it. I agree. Jason, you are, you're big and strong. 
and, and you can definitely hold your own. You have no idea what it's like to be helpless against the brutality of another with no way to make it stop until he decides or until he gets tired. Because God knows it is exhausting beating somebody to a pulp. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry for going off like it's this. Fine. I don't. I understand. Because of what happened to Christine and what's happened to you. Yeah, which is exactly why I have got to be there for my little sister and I've got to stand by her and I've got to help her through this healing. And I've got to make sure this never, ever happens to her again. Yelling. Okay. Okay. Well, I was kind of wondering if you were doing anything special. Just sitting. Just sitting, okay, well, um, I, I can change that if you're up for it. Look, I was thinking maybe I could um, cover most of those bruises on your face. I don't think a little concealer is going to help. Oh no, I think you could be very surprised because unfortunately I have a lot of experience in this and not only can makeup perform miracles, but it can also help your confidence and kind of give you a little preview into how you can feel whole again. I mean, I know you're not feeling like that right now. You want to know how I feel? Broken and ugly and so, so hey, stupid. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. But those are just bruises of the spirit and they're going to heal too. I promise you that. Come on. What do you say we give this a try? Hmm? I didn't do it. Why are you running away? Go ahead. Sonia will just send a goon out and kill you and leave you there without a trace, and that'll be the end of that. God knows it'll be less wear and tear on my kid, who won't have to suffer the shame and the humiliation of a public trial. But it's your lucky day, because I'm not into vigilante justice, and Killing you won't help my daughter. Do you know your father's a friend of mine? You be man enough and decent enough to face what you've done. I did. Shut up! You don't get to talk. You're big and bad enough to, to knock my child around. You be big and bad enough to own it. I can't help you. Yes, you can. And you will, Ethan. I will see you in court. And in the meantime, there is a restraining order against you. You come 500 feet near my child, and you will be incarcerated so fast you'll wish you were dead. I was uh, just actually talking to Bernie. Is Michael okay? Yeah, he's not happy, but so far he's staying Oh, my God, he's not here. He'd be going nuts over Christina. And he shouldn't have to see Sonny the way I saw Sonny this morning. But is Sonny okay? He's a disaster. He, he reeked of alcohol. He was sitting by himself in the dark. He was wearing the same clothes he had on yesterday, going on and on about his mom and how he blames himself for Christina. Does any of this sound familiar Sonny to you? Sonny can't have a breakdown right now. I know. I know. He's still taking his medication. That should get him through the trial, hopefully. It's bad. I haven't seen him like this in a long time. Well, what do you think? I think I have the best big sister in the whole world. Come here. Did Sonny ask you to kill Ethan? He went after Ethan himself. Yeah, I know. The last thing we need right now is a war between Sonny and Luke. You know, that's where this is headed. Luke's gonna stand beside his despicable son. What's going on? What if Ethan is innocent? 
Is there a chance? Well, uh, there's a discrepancy in Christina's story. She told me that, that Ethan showed up right after Sam dropped her off at the lake house, but Sam drove straight to the Haunted Star to confront Ethan, and he was there. Now, this, it may not mean anything. Christina could be confused about the timing. She did suffer a horrible trauma that night, but it could also mean that she's lying about Ethan. Hi. Hi, Christina. You shouldn't be here. You're not supposed to come near me. Look, you, have no, you have no reason to be afraid of me, okay? We both know I didn't beat you. So, why did you lie and say I did? 